Hello, friends. Welcome to Module 6 on Contextual Analysis. I love this quote that facts are stubborn things, but statistics are more pliable. I wish I knew who said that. I would like to uh, congratulate them for their brilliance. In this lecture, we're going to provide insight into the following. First of all, we're going to look at an overview of what contextual analysis really is. We're going to examine strategies for optimizing training and delivery and then strategies for determining tr uh, training schedules and other requirements to delivering training. So we will be covering these four topics in this module. An overview of contextual analysis would start with a definition of contextual analysis. Contextual analysis is a method to analyze the environment in which a business operates. Now, in our situation, it will be utilized to interpret information collected from previous studied methodologies to determine how, when, and where training will be delivered. It will help the, the training compare different delivery mediums and address scheduling issues and other logistics within the context of the organization and learning objectives. In optimizing training delivery, we're going to ask the very important question, how will the training be delivered? Aspects of this uh, question include the following, delivery options related to class size. Now, there is a difference between group training and individual training. Group training can be, of course, delivered in many, many different methodologies, of course, but generally the two uh, primary ways tend to be a physical classroom or a virtual classroom. Individual training can do all sorts of things. Individual training is much more flexible and it may utilize a variety of digital or non-digital approaches. Delivery time looks at how many people can be trained within a short period of time. So we're looking at delivery options and we're examining delivery time. The expertise of the trainer must be appropriate to the delivery method. Uh, I think higher ed suffers from that somewhat in that many of the uh, folks who teach in higher ed are not really that technically savvy and uh, therefore uh, they struggle with online instruction or digital instruction. You don't take a trainer who lacks digital expertise and throw them into an environment to teach in a digital world and the trainer must also uh, have expertise in the field in which they're training. So you're talking about not only delivery options related to class size, delivery time, but you're also examining the expertise of the trainer when you look at optimizing training delivery. Now, to determine training schedules, you're going to ask a question. When will the training be presented? And aspects of this question include the following. You first have to consider the size of the target population and whether attendance is mandatory or voluntary. If it's a mandatory uh, training, that's going to be handled differently than a voluntary training. Uh, I think about, um, uh, they used to talk about in school, well, learn at your own pace, make it voluntary. Well, if they had, I'd been a kindergarten uh, student still. It had to be mandatory for me and I had to be required to do it. If training is mandatory, it is handled differently than if it is voluntary. And will the training be part of a sequence or is the training independent? Is the training that you're going to put on part of a broader uh, plan of training or is it simply independent of other training sessions? And what is the availability of skilled trainers to present the training? We can design all sorts of things and we can schedule however we want to but if we don't have access to skilled trainers to, to help with the training, then we're in a world of hurt. And will other restrictions impact the training? We have all sorts of things that might take place. Uh, my wife is an educational diagnostician, and she called me this afternoon kind of crying a little bit because they planned an ARD meeting, which is a special ed, ed view, uh, admission review and dismissal committee, for a student that was in need, and it turned out that one of the people that was supposed to be there had something else scheduled. Well, that, that, uh, that track meet created a situation where the ARD couldn't be held. What other restrictions are going to impact the training? And as you look at these, you need to answer these questions in order to determine training schedules. Other requirements are important to the delivery of training. 
Contextual analysis asks the important question, what are the other requirements to deliver the training? And aspects uh, may include the following. Will pre-work be required prior to attending the training? What are the workers going to be required to do before they participate in the training? What prerequisite knowledge will they be required to have? Will they be given uh, time away from their regular duties? Um, ever, it'd be like going in, sometimes you might go into a, a, a department store and say, okay, all of you workers, ignore the customers, come to the front and we're going to have a meeting. How well do you think that would fly? So we need to, we need to think about the, the prerequisite skills, the prerequisite knowledge, the pre-work that they would have to have prior to attending the training, and think about whether or not it is going to interfere with their regular duties or how we will be able to work around those regular duties. Will the training uh, require practice between formal sessions? Uh, what will you do in between training sessions? How will the employer supervisor be involved in the training? These four questions are very important when you consider delivering training. And what type of record keeping is required? Record keeping sometimes can be very simple. At times, record keeping can be a, as we say in East Texas, a booger roid. And what that means is, is the training might take 40 hours to deliver and the record keeping might take 50 years to, to get under control. So you need to think about these things as you make plans on how you will deliver the training. Now, how did we do? In this brief lecture, we wanted to provide you an overview of contextual analysis, uh, talk to you about optimizing training delivery, determining training schedules, and other requirements to delivering training. We hope that you got what you set out to achieve with this. And one again, I always want to thank you very much for your support. Your patronage keeps my family fed. Uh, hope you're enjoying the videos and that you're getting something out of them. As we say in the words of the old Trekkies, Live long and prosper, the old Vulcan greeting and dismissal. Have a good one.